Hey guys, welcome back to Ashes to Acres. Um, little one today, I learnt something new. Um, yeah, it's not exactly a good thing, um, but yeah, why roosters attack? So we've had all our um, land filled in finally. We had great big mounds of soil and everything, um, <clears throat> as you would have seen in previous videos if you've been following. What I didn't know, <clears throat> as a change of um, landscape can stress out a rooster and make it aggressive. And so I came out to feed the chooks this morning and this bugger snuck up behind me and attacked me. I then made six more attempts. Um, so apparently we just give them a couple of days to settle and get used to the landscape. But yeah, something I did not know. So we were following our usual routine and everything's fine. And then, yeah, he just out of the blue started acting really, really weird. He's also been taking all the chooks under the house, so he obviously does not feel safe. Um, the interesting thing is he won't attack me from the front. He's, he keeps coming at me from behind, so luckily I've got my gum boots on. But, yeah, it's it's crazy how much bigger it makes the place look. I'll take you around this side. Hopefully he's not going not gonna to have a go. He's hiding under the house again. Um, yeah, so all flattened out. Yes, it makes it look huge. We're kind of blown away. Um, anyway, while we're on chooks and roosters and all that jazz, let's go and have a check for eggs and um, I'll show you how, what we've done with the chook house. We're on. So yeah, I still can't get over the fact that you take me. I'm really going to have to watch that, especially around the kids. Um, but I think we'll just stay clear of him for a couple of days until he gets his bearings. Right, so, a bit different now. I mean, we had done the extension before, which we still haven't closed off. Um, but, I don't know if you can see in there, we've changed their housing a bit, and they seem to be quite happy. Still happy. So it's free range all the time. We've got this up simply for the dogs, but we've got a hole here, the trucks come through, and then we just um, use these to get in and out ourselves. Um, so everything, like, it's not pretty. It's all repurposed. Um, this was a second-hand dog kennel, and we bought that for $50, and we've put it up on, oh, hello, love. Well, she's nesting at the moment. We'll leave her for now. There's usually two eggs in there in the morning. Uh, none in here. There should be. Oh, look at that. Two in there. One in there. So my guess is she's sitting on the other two. Um, there is usually one in the garden out here as well. And occasionally, actually every day, there has been one between. This long grass here. Oh yes, there it is. And then my terrible garden, excuse me, it got full of thistle, so we've had to spray it. Um, there's usually an egg in here as well. She doesn't appear to be today. No. Oh, that's cool. That means that um, that means the other five will be in the coop. So usually there's one in the garden, one in that long grass there, and four in the coop. So hopefully we've got five in the coop today. That means they're really starting to like their housing. Is the two under this girl here. She's done. It's five in the coop. That's really good. I'm happy with that. 